the gluten-free diet. In this training video, nutrition experts affiliated with pediatric celiac disease centers and some kids with celiac disease will provide an overview of the gluten-free diet. They will discuss selecting gluten-free food products, reading food labels, and preventing gluten cross-contact. At the end of this video, viewers will be able to name the three primary grains that contain gluten, explain the reason for concern about cross-contact of gluten in foods, and identify gluten-free and gluten-containing food products. Let's get started. What is gluten? Gluten is protein in wheat, rye, and barley. Gluten is most often found in food, but it can also be found in medications, vitamins, and school supplies like Play-Doh, art supplies, and paper mache even the ingredients used in a cooking class. People with celiac disease must avoid all forms of wheat, rye, and barley and any derivatives of these grains. The following is a list of gluten-containing foods. This list has the most common items, but it is not exhaustive. Barley, barley extract, barley grass, barley malt, barley pearls, bran, bulgur, couscous, durum, einkorn, emmer, farina, kamut, malt extract, malt vinegar, matzo, rye, seitan, spelt, semolina, tabbouleh, triticale, and wheat. A solid understanding of gluten-free ingredients will help with the daily management of a child with celiac disease. In their natural form, fresh fruits and vegetables, eggs, meats, seafood, tofu, legumes, and unflavored dairy products are gluten-free. There are also lots of grains and other foods that are naturally gluten-free. The following is a list of gluten-free foods. There are lots more in the world, but these are some of the most common. Almond flour, amaranth, arrowroot, bean flours, buckwheat, chickpea flour, coconut flour, corn, flax, garbanzo, guar gum, hominy, kasha, lentils, millet, nut flours, potatoes, quinoa, rice, sorghum, soy, sunflower seeds, tapioca, tapioca flour, teff, tofu, xanthan gum, yeast, yuca. But those are just some of the gluten-free foods in the world. Make sure you look at the gluten-free ingredients glossary for detailed descriptions of ingredients. What about oats? Are they gluten-free? Oats are sometimes gluten-free. Oats are naturally gluten-free. However, they are often exposed to gluten-containing grains during the growing, manufacturing, processing, and even transportation of these grains. Individuals with celiac disease must only use oats that are labeled gluten-free. Maintaining a careful gluten-free diet means avoiding any chance of cross-contact with gluten-containing products. Even a small amount of gluten in a child with celiac disease can make them feel sick. Being strictly gluten-free does not require a sterile 100% gluten-free environment. By taking a few precautions, it is possible to safely and cost-effectively store, prepare, and serve both gluten-free and gluten-containing foods in the same environment and keep a child safe from gluten exposure. My mom washes things in the kitchen after my brother and sister eat gluten. She scrubs things just like she does after making chicken. Preventing cross-contamination from gluten in your kitchen is really similar to preventing cross-contamination and foodborne illness when you're preparing raw meat or chicken in your kitchen. So if you're preparing foods that contain gluten or someone eats gluten in your kitchen, clean the space with the same intensity and rigor that you would do if it had just been raw chicken on your counter instead of gluten-containing sandwich. Important strategies for preventing cross-contact with gluten. Good hygiene is key. Always wash hands and eating surfaces before consuming food. Always use clean pots, pans, equipment, and utensils to prepare gluten-free foods. Use fresh, clean water to cook gluten-free pasta. Squeeze bottles are the best method to prevent cross-contact with condiments like mayonnaise and mustard. Do not double dip in foods like butter, peanut butter, Nutella, and jam. Prepare gluten-free foods before gluten-containing foods. Store gluten-free foods on a shelf or rack above gluten-containing foods. Separate gluten-free and gluten-containing foods on salad bars. In a classroom, wipe down tables with approved cleaning solutions prior to a child with celiac disease eating on that surface. 
And there are so many different gluten-free foods at the grocery store. There are thousands of gluten-free products in the grocery stores. When I go shopping with my mom, we always read the ingredients list and look for the gluten-free label. It helps me learn. In 2013, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration announced the gluten-free labeling rule. Under this rule, if a product is labeled gluten-free, it is claiming that the product is less than 20 parts per million gluten. Remember, this rule is voluntary. So even if a product is not labeled gluten-free, it may still be. There is no nationally accepted or required certification for gluten-free products. There are a number of third-party companies that charge manufacturers a fee to test their products for gluten. If a product meets the certification standard, then the manufacturer is able to use the certifier's chosen gluten-free symbol. Assuming a product meets the FDA standard of less than 20 parts per million, the manufacturer can choose to use any form of the words gluten-free on its label. The Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act requires consumer-friendly labeling of the eight most common food allergens on food packages. This includes wheat, milk, soy, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. You'll most often see these ingredients show up in an allergen statement that appears just below the ingredients list. This law makes it easy for people with celiac disease to identify the wheat in a product, but unfortunately barley and rye are not included, so you always need to read the ingredients label. What do we look for on a package to know if it's safe to eat? Gluten-free! There's a lot of voluntary statements from manufacturers that are on packages of food that are very different from gluten-free labeling. For example, made in a shared facility as gluten, processed on shared equipment as wheat containing foods, low gluten or gluten friendly are other labels you might see on packages. And it's really difficult to know exactly what these labels mean unless you're having a detailed conversation with the food manufacturer. Now for children who have celiac disease, I do recommend choosing flour products or grain-based products that are labeled to be gluten-free when possible to prevent that risk of exposure to gluten. A gluten-free diet isn't a choice for a child with celiac disease. It's a lifelong necessity. By following the suggestions in this video, you will help kids with celiac disease manage their condition and prevent complications from ingesting gluten.